Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Hello. I'm fine, thank Hi. you. Fine. Fine, I'm okay. Hi, Gaziel. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. What happened yesterday, Gaziel? <laughs> you were sleeping? <laughs> yeah, I slept early. Oh my goodness, that's Saturday. okay. All right. Okay, so I have Lisette, Gadiel, Ana Edith, Jose Ramos, Jose, I mean, sorry, Rocillo. I have Jose Rodriguez, hi, Elmer, Daniel, Henry, and Jennifer. All right, very good. So how's everybody? Everybody okay? Yes. Excellent. So yesterday, uh, we're going to tell Gadiel what the class was about yesterday. We were talking about relative pronouns okay um jose can you tell me the two relative pronouns that we were talking about yesterday jose rodriguez oh sorry that's okay can you tell us the two relative pronouns that we were studying yesterday uh, we studied um, that and who that and who very good all right so uh let me see uh, Daniel, you were in class yesterday, right? Daniel, were you in class yesterday? Daniel? All right, uh, let's see. Um, let's see who else. Rocio. Yes, teacher. All right, Rocio, yesterday we were talking about relative pronouns, and as Jose mentioned, we were talking about um, the relative pronoun who and the relative pronoun that, okay? Now, yes. do you remember that we were talking about um, that sometimes we can use it as a subject and then we can use it as an object? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So when do we use it as a subject, Rocio, and when do we use it as an object? We use a subject uh -huh. when when is before a verb. What is when before the verb? The 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 relative pronoun. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> and we use a object when is before a pronoun okay. or, or a subject. Or a noun, all right, very or good. Or a noun. Okay. Yes, very good. Okay, so um, like, for example, Gadiel, we can say, we, when we talk about relative pronouns, we have two sentences, okay? And we want to make a one longer sentence, okay? So for okay. example, I say, uh, the boy, I don't know, help me here. Uh, Elmer, give me an example. That is the woman who appears at midnight. Oh my goodness, that's like the <laughs> one hour or something. <laughs> yes, it's the <a> one hour. <laughs> okay, so like uh, she, one hour. Yeah, like one hour. Yeah, she is the woman who appears at night. So for this, Gadiel, you have two sentences. At the beginning, you can say, She's the woman, that's sentence number one, she appears at night, okay? Now, okay. with the relative clause, I mean, the relative pronoun, what they do is they join two sentences and they make one. So I say, the, uh, she is the woman who appears at night. So I make two, point, two sentences into one using who, all right? So that's the, that was the idea of yesterday's class. And then we had Anna Edith, we were working on some sentences, right? Was that the last mm. exercise? Yes. Did you have, do you have like one of your examples? Um, uh, for example, the girl is sick. Mm -hmm. Who has better promedies? Okay. But remember that you were making your own sentences. Did we stop on that exercise? Do you guys remember? Guys. What was the last exercise I that we did examples. yesterday? Uh-huh. Henry, thank you. 
Ok, maybe. Mm -hmm. Wait a moment. Mm -hmm. Is the, do you know the boy who applied football week is a front end object? Okay. And the, do you know the boy who played football with me? Yes. Oh, all right. Subject. Okay, so uh, we were making sentences using the object and, and as an object and as a subject, that's right? Uh, yes. All right, okay. Yes. Okay, Rocio, do you have another example? Uh, yes. We went to the camping, which is on Pita Mountain. Okay, so you're using the relative pronoun which? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's oh, okay. that we we can. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So today I wanna I want us to work on something else again, like exercises from um, uh, using the uh, relative pronouns. Just give me a second here. Okay. Here, I have it. Okay. So this is what we're going to do right now, and I'm going to show it to you here. Remember that this is the same topic that we have on the platform, okay? We're just reviewing it because yesterday we began this, okay? So what I want you to do is, can you see this? Can you take a picture of this? Ooh. Can you take a picture of that, please? Okay, finished? Everybody took a picture? Elmer, did you take a picture? Yeah. Gadiel and Rocio? Yes. Jennifer, yes. Anna, take okay. a picture, please. Yes. Okay, so the idea here is it says, match the information in column A and B. Then, first you need to match it, okay? And then you have to rewrite each pair to form one sentence use a relative pronoun if necessary okay so first activity is that you have to match it like for example letter a number one it says i don't want to have a partner letter d i have nothing in common with this person so that's the first activity and you have to do the same thing for number two three four five six and seven when you finish that you have the two sentences then you have to make for each sentence, for each pair of sentences, you have to make one long one using who or using that. Do you understand? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good, all right. So I'm gonna send you right now to your um, groups, okay? Just remember to click on your group and I want you to work on that, okay? Carla, you were not in class yesterday, right? No. All right, okay. So just make Correct. sure, okay, that's okay. So just make sure that you um, click on the, um, on the invitation right now for the groups, okay? So you go with your okay. partner, very good. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, so click it away, guys, so you can start working with that um, exercise. I'm going to go check on every group to see if you have any questions. Hi, Gadiel. Gadiel, I'm going to move you to another group, okay?
Hi, Walter. Hi, Walter. Hello. How are you? Nice to hear you. Nice to hear you too, Walter. How are you? Everything okay? Uh, yesterday I, I was sick. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. But you're okay oh. now? Yes, I am. Uh, I am okay now. All right. Uh, very good. Okay. Very nice. And Daniel? Hi, Daniel. Mm. Okay, so uh, for, let me see, Daniel is raising his hand. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I have a problem with my connection in this moment. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, but Daniel, you were not in class yesterday, were you? Uh, because yesterday... Uh, I I didn't um, um, at the platform. Ah, okay, okay, that's okay. So right now, what I'm going to do for you and Walter that were not in class yesterday, I'm going to show you. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to show you the topic that we studied yesterday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So this is what we studied. I'm going to share with you right now. We have seen this before, Walter, but this is just like a review. Okay, so this is what we're going to see right now. Can you guys see my screen? Relative pronouns. Uh-huh. Excellent. Okay, so you yes. can see it. Okay. So here we have, um, we have relative pronouns in this case. We're talking about the relative pronoun who and that, only for like people, okay? So here we have, um, now the relative pronouns, you can use them as subjects or you can use, in, you can use them as objects of a sentence, okay? So remember yes. that I said that we're talking about who And these, I have four sentences here. I have Alice wanted a cat that purred a lot. In, in sentence number one, the relative pronoun is that. In sentence number two, Jessica likes the students who study hard. The relative pronoun is? Who? Excellent, okay. Number three, it's the same. Lisa saw a movie that her sister had seen before. What is the relative pronoun in that sentence? That. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Miguel is a student who she met. The relative who? pronoun is who, okay. So what you need to pay attention to, Walter and Daniel, is that after the relative pronoun, you need to be careful with what follows the relative pronoun. For example, for sentence number one and sentence number two, you have a verb, okay? Per is a verb, a study is a verb. So if you have a verb right after the relative pronoun, this relative pronoun is a subject, okay? If you have you have the relative pronoun that, and you have the relative pronoun who, but after this, they have a um, pronoun, okay? And not like a subject pronoun or a possessive pronoun, okay? So in that case, this, the that and the who is acting as an object, not as a subject. Do you understand, Walter? Yes, it's re relative with, with, with uh, mention for, for, for for both the object and subject. Yes, before we have talked about who and which, right now we're only talking about who because we're talking about people, okay? Uh -huh. So what, the, what we do is we combine two sentences and we make them into one, okay? That's what we do, okay? So I'm gonna show you this one. Hold on. Here, I wanna show you another one that I showed them yesterday. Let me see. Can you see this one now, Elmer? I mean, Elmer Walter? Yes. The color pencils? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So here we have who. I usually speak to the woman. She owns the hotel. So you say, I usually speak to the woman. Who owns the hotel? We omit the she. Can you see it? 
who, uh -huh. who owns the, the hotel. Mm -hmm. The hotel, all right? So we omit the she for the second sentence because it refers to the same thing as the first sentence. And then we make the combination of two sentences. Is is uh, substitute the 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 noun? The, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The, the pronoun. The pronoun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So that's pretty much what you do. Now you can say who or you can say that, and it's okay. So I usually speak to the woman that owns the hotel, or I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. Okay. Either or, it's okay. So right now what they're doing, Walter, is this. Just give me a second. They are, I'm gonna stop sharing this, and they're working on this right now. They're working on this. If you want, you can take a picture of this, Walter. Yes. Take a picture of this, and I'm gonna send you to a group. What you're supposed to do is, you're supposed, you are supposed to do two activities in this um, exercise. Activity number one is that you have to match A with B. All right, the column A with the column B. When you finish matching all of the numbers, then you have to go back to number one and then you have two sentences. You have to make one sentence using who or using that. Okay. Okay, so take a picture and I'm going to send you to a group. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna send you right now to your group, Walter. I'm gonna send you to group number two. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I rather have a boss. Hello. Who has ah, a teacher? Who who has who has a good leadership credibility? Credibility. I rather have a boss who has a good leadership qualities. Ah, quality. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, teacher. I. Yes. I am a little confused with the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to have a partner that I have nothing in common with this person. Is correct or? I or don't want to have a partner that I have nothing in common with. You can you can say I don't want to have a partner that I have nothing in common with. Sounds better. Just leave it to the wit. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, the subject I is necessary. I don't want to have a partner. Yes, because you're not really talking about the person. You're talking about okay. how you feel with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You finished? Maybe, teacher. Maybe. Yes. Uh, uh, could you... Uh, watch my screen. Okay. I don't want to have a partner that I have nothing in common with this person. Yeah. Maybe. I don't, I, want like... to, I don't want to have a partner that I have nothing in common with. with. All right. Common with. Uh -huh. Only. I see. Yeah. Like that. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Of humor, very good. I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considerate. And considerate, yes. Yes. I don't like to be with a people that I don't feel comfortable around these people. I don't, I don't like to be with people that I don't feel comfortable around. Around. Mm -hmm, because you have the, these people again. Okay, maybe I want to discuss my problem with friends who, who, only who, mm -hmm. yes, are one and sensitive. Excellent. 
I rather have a boss who has a good leadership qualities. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have a teacher who are organized and intelligent. I prefer to have teachers who are organized and intelligent, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. You guys are good. Teacher, I okay. have another question. Yes, tell me. In, for example, in the sentence, I want to discuss my problems with friends who are warm and sensitive. Uh -huh. uh, the verb be correct is are and not is. Who is? or? Yeah, because you're talking about friends. Okay. All right. I think we because we use who yeah but, because it's always singular but in this case the friend makes the change okay mm -hmm. okay all right very good very good or excellent teacher excellent my friend yes yeah, yes thank you teacher <laughs> Elmer, you're you know, the best teacher no yeah that's not true you don't you don't love me anymore yes i love you <laughs> all time <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to do right now, El Mercito, because otherwise I will forget and you won't love me anymore? I don't understand, teacher. I'm going to send, yesterday, usted no me acordó. En serio. Vaya, ahorita se las mando, ve, eh, al grupo. Vaya, muchas gracias. There you go. Usted la me... Uh -huh. Ahorita se están cargando el versito. Una ya cayó, creo. Revise. Espéreme, teacher. Pérame. How do you say espéreme? Ya sabía yo. Wait, waiting, waiting for you. Yes, teacher. Yeah, all right. Yes. You are Very the good. best, teacher. I love you. I know. Thank you. Always <laughs> in my mind. Ah, all right. That's a song, Elmer. <laughs> All right, just give me a second. I'm yes. gonna. I'm yes, gonna. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna go right Do now. Do you like that song? Yes, I like that song. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny. Ah, Danielito, what are we gonna do with Elmer? Huh? Hi, Carla. Hi. How are you doing? Excuse me. How are you doing with Jose and Jose? Ah, you have two Jose's, Jose Ramos and Jose Rodriguez. Yes, you, the same I, name. Yeah, I know, and they're twins, no, they're not. Um, how are you doing? How are you doing with the exercise, finished? Almost done. Okay, all right. Is it difficult? A little bit? I don't understand some things. All right, well, you were not in class yesterday, right, Carla? Yes, I couldn't. Okay, okay. I was right. a study gen. Okay, um, are you in the WhatsApp group, uh, Jose, Carlos, uh, yes. I mean, Jose, Jose, and Carla? Yes, I am. Excuse me? Uh, all okay. Of, uh, all of you are in the group, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, I just sent the uh, PowerPoint presentations today's class. Okay, so maybe that can help you a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I sent two presentations just now. I just sent it. All right. What number are you working on right now? Which number are you guys working on right now? Let me see. <laughs> you can you can see my screen, Jose Rodriguez. Which number are you working on right now? Ah, uh, the number three. Okay, I prefer a roommate. Yes. Who is quiet, who is quiet and considered. Okay. You think that makes sense? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. So now you make it into one sentence. How would you make that? Um, it would be, I prefer a room who is quiet and considering. I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considerate. Yes. Okay, very good. All right. Nice. What about number four, Jose Ramos? 
Yes, uh, I don't like to be people. And uh, uh, I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable around this. Okay. Around with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how you make them, all right? And then you have to make one, one whole sentence. Okay, we're gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go check another group, and then I'm coming. We're coming back to the main group. Okay. 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 Okay, and soy a panga. Yeah. Hi, Jenny. Hi, David. Hello, teacher. How are Hi, you? Teacher. Fine. How are you? A little sick, teacher. Again. Uh, again, Jenny. Yes. What happened? Uh, uh before um sick um to inf to flu. Uh huh. But in this case, it's a uh, uh, how do you say um bronchitis. 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 Yes. Oh my goodness, Jenny. That's yes. not good. For that reason, yesterday I yeah. didn't in class. Yeah, I wasn't in class. Uh -huh. Yes, I was in okay. class. David, were okay. you in class yesterday? No, no. This day is my first day. Okay. In the so, class. Okay, very good. David and Jennifer, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes, uh, teacher, uh, the relative classes, uh, we use who or that yes right now we're change. using the relative pronoun jennifer the relative, the relative pronoun the, who or that yes mm -hmm. who or that relative pronouns yes yes change uh -huh. two sentences uh-huh uh, into one into one yes mm -hmm. um yes yes yeah yeah in that case for uh -huh. example teacher uh -huh. I have nothing in common with the person. O sea, number one, match with the D. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with the person. Mm -hmm. But relative pronouns, I have nothing in common with the person who don't want to have a partner. Is it okay or no? No. You say, I, the, the letter A is the beginning of your sentence, Jennifer and David. So you say, I don't want yeah. to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. In common with. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to have a partner who uh -huh. I have nothing in common with. Okay. All right. All right, teacher. Or for example, number two, let's say it says, I like to meet people. And maybe you can say letter E, these people are warm and, sen warm and sensitive. So you can say, I like to meet people who are uh, warm and sensitive. Uh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you understand? Okay. okay. Yes. Now, David and Jennifer, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes, teacher. And yes. David, are you too? Okay. Because right now, like five minutes ago, I sent the presentations that we used yesterday. Ah, thank okay. You, so that's okay. that helps you, and you're gonna can I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share my screen right now with you. Can you stop sharing your screen, Jenny? Yes. Just for one second, please. Jenny, um, this is what we studied yesterday. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Yes, so yes. Here, this is this is exactly what I just sent on the WhatsApp group. Is the relative pronouns, and the yes. relative pronouns can be used as a subject or as an object. Okay. okay. Now, as a subject, for example, in sentence number one, it says Alice wanted a cat that purred a lot. That is the relative pronoun. Okay. And it's, if you yes. notice here, Jenny and David, heard is a verb, okay? Yes. 
and here we have a study, which is a verb also. So if you have a verb right after the relative pronoun, then these, these uh, relative pronouns are acting as a subject, okay? But on okay. sentence number okay. three and on sentence number four, we have that and we have who, but here, this is not a verb, okay? That yes. is a, a, a pronoun. And this one it's is a also a subject pronoun, okay? So when you have a subject pronoun, the relative, the relative um, pronoun is acting as an object, not as a subject. Okay. So here we have, as a, as a subject, the relative pronoun as a subject is followed by a verb. As an object, the relative pronoun is followed by a pronoun or a noun, okay? Okay. okay. That's what we saw yesterday, and these were the exercises. And also, yesterday, I showed the, your classmates, oops, what did I do? I show your classmates the other presentation, this one. Can you see? Yes. Yes, I see. Okay, so here we have two sentences. I usually speak to the woman. She owns the hotel. So I have two sentences and I wanna make only one sentence, like what we're doing right now on the exercise, okay? So I, I omit the she because it's redundant. So I say, I usually, I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel, all right? So my period yeah. disappears, my she disappears, and I include who. And it's the same sentence, but it's longer, it's a little bit more complex, okay? But it's nicer, okay? The other one, es como cuando estamos recién aprendiendo. I usually speak to the woman. She owns the hotel, all right? Now, we join it. Okay. Lo que hacemos, el relative pronoun, lo que nos permite es unir dos oraciones y hacer una boca. Yeah? So here we, here we okay. say, I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. All right, you understand? All right, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I understand. So okay. this um this presentation, I just send it Jenny and David. Okay, so it's there in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go okay. back and see how everybody else is doing, and then you can take notes if you want to. Okay. So I'm gonna close the rooms right now. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. Oops, did I mute you? All right, guys, ready? Are you guys ready? Ready, ready? Ready or not. Yes, ready, ready or not, here ready I go. Very good, I like that, very nice. Okay, um, sorry I took a little bit, but there were, I have some students that were not in class yesterday. So I was explaining it a little bit, okay? Lisette, uh, for yes. number one, I don't want to have a partner. And what is the matching? What's the match for that one? Letter D. D. I have nothing in common with this person. Now, Lisa, yes. can you make one sentence now? Yes. I don't want to have a partner who has nothing in common. Who has nothing in common, okay? Or who I have nothing in common with. All right, you have with. the other choices. Very good, nice. Very good, thank uh, you. Teacher, teacher, we yes. have a question. About yeah. this one, uh -huh. uh, when we use who, uh -huh. the verb has, we have to use has or have? Who have, who has. In that case, it's who has. Oh. It's, All right. Okay. Number two, Elmer, can you do number two? I like to meet people. Yes, teacher. I like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. Okay. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. All right. Who has? All right. The, I like has. to meet people who has. Who has. A good sense yeah. of humor. All right, very good. Uh, Jennifer Acosta, can you try to do number three? Number three. Mm -hmm. I prefer a roommate. Uh, this people is organized. Organized? Organized. Mm, are you sure, Jenny? 
Uh, Jose Ramos, what do you have for number three? Let's help Jennifer. It's a have a lower F. I don't feel comfortable around these people. I don't like. No, letter G, teacher. This teacher, person is quiet and considerate. All right. I, the, you were doing number three, right? Yes. Number yeah. three. They're G. I prefer right? a roommate who is quiet and considerate. Yes. Okay. Quiet. All right. Uh -huh. That's better. Okay. Can we can we use instead who that? Yes, of course. Remember, yeah, very good of you. We can use who or we can use that, and it's okay. All right. Number four. Uh, let me see. Who is quiet and considering. Uh huh. Anna, can you try I to do? I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considering. I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considering. Yes, very good. Mm hmm. Number four, Anna, can you do that one? Anna, Anna? No? All right. Walter, can you try to do that one? Oh, Anna, thank you. For number yes. four. Uh, I don't like to be with people um, who, who don't feel comfortable around these people. Mm. Can you try to do that one again? I don't uh, like uh -huh. to be with people uh, who feel comfortable around mm. these people. Who I don't feel comfortable with. Or I don't uh, feel comfortable uh, around, sorry. Elmer, how do you have that one? Number four. Elmer, no! Number four. What uh -huh. what is the number four? Let me see. I don't like I like I don't right. like to be with people that I, that I don't feel comfortable around. 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 All right. Very good. Yeah. I don't want. Uh -huh. I don't like to be with people that I don't feel comfortable around. That sounds better. All right. Very good. All right. Lisette, yeah. can you try to do five? Yes, teacher. Number five. I want to discuss my problem with friends. Uh huh. Um, letter E. Okay. For our world and sensitive. Okay. I want to discuss my problem with friends who are world and sensitive. All right. Very nice. Sounds makes sense. Gadiel, can you do number six? I'd rather have a boss who has. Good leadership qualities. Excellent. Very good. All right. Nice. And David Rivas, can you try to do number seven? Okay. I prefer to have teachers and with A. Uh huh. Who are organized. Organized? Organized and organized. intelligent. All right. Very good. Organized and intelligent. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. All right, now, I'll, um, oops, oops, sorry. Okay, now I wanna show you another one so we can do um, one more exercise before we go, we go on with this. Just give me one second, I'm gonna look for it right now. Okay, on the platform, we also use these um, words or let's say to make more sentences okay so we have number one we have can you see yes, yes. Okay. so we have sociable we have intolerant we have modest we have temperamental we have egotistical easygoing stingy and reliable and supportive we have these personality adjectives okay so sociable you understand what sociable is Yes, yes. yes, very good. <laughs> Intolerant. You understand? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. All right, very good. Modest. Yes. Well, yes. Right. yes. Temperamental. Yes. Yeah. All right. Egotistical. Yes. Yeah. What is it, Elmer? Egolatra. All right. <laughs> wow. I know. Eh? Easy going. You understand easy going? Uh, yes, teachers. Yes. Yeah, like when I'm that, right? Easy going or nice to be around with. Stingy. You know what stingy is? Yes. 
No. No. Uh, oh, es, el me es Stingy. Tacaño, very good. Okay. Stingy es tacaño, codo y toda la yeah. cosa de que All lleva right. esa. All Agua right. chapaneco. Niño, unreliable. Do you know what unreliable is? Unreliable. 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 No confiable de poca confianza, poco fiable. Quiero el diccionario. Unreliable, all right. And supportive, you know what supportive is? Supportive, apoyo alentador, comprensivo, servicial, compasivo. All right, but you're very good. You know all the definitions. Okay. So here you have to define and you have to make sentences. For example, you say, a person who won't accept other people's differences is it? Is it? Is intolerant. And to, intolerant? Okay, very good. What about letter B? Someone who? Who doesn't like giving things to people. Mm -hmm. mm. And generous. And generous. Uh -huh. and generous. So what is it? All right, maybe. All right. Can you take a picture, please? Yes. So now that you understand what they mean, take a picture. Okay. Ah, uh, take a picture. Okay, ready? B or M. Is that my computer doing that? Did you see that? Yes, yeah. teacher. My I computer can. is going crazy. Yes, like a... What? Pero, <laughs> 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 All right, thank you, Elmer. I, I know, he's terrible. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to match the definition or this um, personality ad adjective to the definition that you have here. Okay, so do that. Go to your groups right now. And then finish up that exercise. So go back to your groups and finish that exercise up for me. Hi, Selena. Selena, can you hear me? Selena, can you hear me? Carla, le salió la invitación? Excuse me? Did you get, did you receive the invitation to work on your group? Before, yes. Right now, no? No. Okay, I'm gonna send you to another group then, okay? okay. Check now. Yes. So you may go, okay, very good. Hi, Selena. I'm gonna send you to a group right now, okay, Selena? Let me see if you receive, let me, let me know if you receive the invitation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, just uh, do it um, soon. Yes, in this moment, it's okay. It's okay, I see the picture. Um, Selena, can you, he can you speak or just chat? Hi, Jennifer and David. Hi. Hi. Okay. In this moment, yes, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, that's, that's okay. very nice. <laughs> Selena, can you hear me? Puede hablar, Selena? Yes. I Hi, Selena. Excellent, very good. How are you? All right, Selena, are you new? I have a, I don't, I 
have a problem with the internet and then I don't know me with the class. Okay, all right, that's okay, Selena, very good. So you're gonna, Selena, you're gonna be working with Jennifer and David. So they're gonna be like, um, you have to do this exercise and then they can help you out, okay? Okay. All right, Jennifer and David, uh, please help her out a little bit because she just got in not so long ago. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, for example, sociable. Number a person who enjoys being with other people. Tolerant. Okay, I will. Hi, Rocio. Hi. Hi, are you alone, Rocio? Yes, Walter, what happened? Walter left the, the chat. <laughs> I don't know what happened. He I don't probably, know. What... He has problems. Yeah, and some people have problems today with the internet connection. Uh, let me oh, see. Okay. I'm going to send you to another group, uh, Rocio, so you can work, okay? Okay. Right now, I just send it.
ser un buen juez quien es de mucha ayuda y de valor. Letter D. I think it's letter D is uh, supportive. Uh, pasémonos a la otra. Stingy. Stingy is someone who doesn't like giving letter B. Letter B, right? Negative. Negative. Uh, unreliable. Reliable. I think H. H. Reliable. Person who doesn't worry much or angry. No. 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 Or E. E. Uh, A person who doesn't do what or her promise. All. Uh, yes. A person who. It's fine. No, but don't, sorry. Number. Number five. Yes, number five with letter B. Yes. Yes. And the, the letter um leather leather my dear hi. teacher hi Good evening again. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, you finished? Maybe, teacher. All right. So we have two. Is for you, it's number letter A. Intolerant, what? a person who won't accept other people's differences. Yes. What about modest? Modest is uh, the three is with P. With E or I? Why I? I. I. <laughs> Someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Very good. Temperamental. 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 Little four is with G. A person G. who has a predictable or irregular mood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Egotistical. Egotistical. We have. Someone who expresses a very high opinion of opinion him or herself. Of yeah. Him or is he going? Is he going a little? Sage. Someone who is a person who doesn't worry, worry much or get angry easily. Okay, and it's stingy. It's stingy. I watch a paneco. It's stingy. It's a little b. Someone who doesn't Someone like giving things to people. Like All right. And yeah, reliable. E, a, okay. H with H with E. Person who doesn't do what he or she promised. Ah yeah, okay. And supportive. And supportive. Is is a little D. Put it up, Elmer, please. Can you put it up? Yeah, thank you. Encouraging courageous. All right, very good. Okay, okay. so we're going to go back to the group right now so we can finish up. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's check it together here. All right, so we have uh, intolerant for number two. What do you have for the answer, guys? What letter? Just tell me the letter. H. H or A? A. A. 
A, right? Intolerant. Okay, a person who won't accept other people's differences. What about modest, number three? What I, letter? I. I, yes. I, I. Someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Temperamental, number four. G. G, G. very good, yes. G. Okay. What about egotistical, number five? C. Very good. All right, number six, easy going. H. 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 A person yes. who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Uh, number seven, stingy. D. Which letter is stingy? E. F. B. 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 Someone who doesn't like giving things to people. Ungenerous. All right, very good. Number eight. E. What letter? Letter E. E, yes, e. 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 A person who doesn't do what he or she promised. Reliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable, all right. And number Reliable. nine, supportive. Letter D. E. E. Someone Reliable. who is helpful who is and encouraging. Helpful. Yes. Encouraging. To... Okay. All right, guys, very good. So tomorrow we're going to begin a new topic. We're not going to talk about this, um, about the subject or uh, object of the relative pronouns. We're going to begin a new topic, okay? Always on, on section one. So thank you very much, guys, for being with me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. And please study the platform and do your exercises, okay? At the end, on okay. Thursday, I will ask you guys how you're doing with your progress on this on the section, okay? Okay. okay? okay. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.